بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد Say, O Prophet, I seek refuge in the Lord of the Daybreak. The command to seek refuge in the Lord of Daybreak, Phallic, emphasizes the importance of seeking divine protection from the onset of darkness and the potential harms associated with it. Daybreak symbolizes the emergence of light after darkness, signifying hope, renewal, and the defeat of darkness by the light. By seeking refuge in the Lord of Daybreak, believers express their trust in Allah's ability to dispel darkness and protect them from its negative influences. Believers acknowledge Allah's sovereignty and control over all aspects of creation, including the cycles of day and night. This acknowledgement reinforces the concept of Ta'id, the oneness of Allah, affirming that Allah is the ultimate authority and protector who governs the universe and its various phenomena from the evil of whatever he has created. This verse emphasizes seeking protection from the evil, shar, of whatever Allah has created. This encompasses all forms of harm, whether physical, spiritual, or psychological, that exist in the world. Believers acknowledge the reality of evil as part of Allah's creation, recognizing that it is a test and trial in this worldly life. By seeking refuge in Allah from evil, believers express their dependence on Him for protection and guidance. This verse underscores the importance of seeking refuge in Allah from the evil present in His creation. It reflects believers' acknowledgement of Allah's sovereignty, their trust in His protection, and their affirmation of faith in His divine providence. By seeking refuge in Allah, believers express their reliance on His mercy and power to safeguard them from harm and guide them through life's challenges and from the evil of the night when it grows dark. This verse highlights seeking protection from the darkness, Gossik, as it descends and settles, symbolizing the onset of night and the potential increase in dangers and malevolent forces associated with it. Darkness here represents both physical darkness and spiritual darkness, encompassing ignorance, fear, and evil influences. Believers seek refuge in Allah to protect them from the negative consequences of darkness. The verse underscores the importance of seeking refuge in Allah from the dangers and negative influences associated with nighttime and darkness. It symbolizes believers' trust in Allah's guidance and protection, their acknowledgement of spiritual challenges, and their reliance on His mercy and assistance to navigate through life's adversities. By seeking refuge in Allah, believers express their commitment to seeking His divine guidance and protection in times of darkness and uncertainty and from the evil of those witches casting spells by blowing onto knots. The verse emphasizes seeking protection from those who engage in occult practices, specifically mentioning the act of blowing onto knots, awaswas. This refers to acts of sorcery, witchcraft, or black magic practiced by individuals to cause harm or exert control over others. Such occult practices were prevalent during the time of revelation and were considered forbidden and harmful in Islam. By seeking refuge in Allah from these practices, believers affirm their rejection of anything that involves seeking supernatural powers outside the realm of divine guidance. The mention of seeking protection from witchcraft and sorcery reinforces Islam's rejection of superstition, false beliefs, and reliance on anything other than Allah for protection and guidance. Believers affirm their faith in Allah as the ultimate protector and guardian, rejecting any practices or beliefs that contradict Islamic teachings and principles. The verse underscores the importance of seeking refuge in Allah from the harmful practices and intentions of those who engage in occult practices such as witchcraft and sorcery. It signifies believers' rejection of anything that opposes Islamic principles and their trust in Allah's protection from all forms of harm, whether physical or spiritual. By seeking refuge in Allah, believers affirm their faith in His sovereignty and His ability to safeguard them from the influences of evil and malevolent forces, and from the evil of an envier when they envy. This verse complements the previous verses of Surah Al-Falaq by addressing the specific threat posed by human-induced evil, particularly the harm caused by envious individuals. 
while previous verses focused on seeking protection from natural phenomena, supernatural forces, and occult practices, this verse highlights the need to protect oneself from the harmful intentions and actions of fellow human beings. It emphasizes seeking protection from the evil of an envier when they envy. Envy, hasid, is a destructive emotion characterized by resentment or jealousy towards others' blessings, success, or possessions. Envy can lead individuals to harbor ill intentions and seek to harm or undermine others in order to alleviate their own feelings of discontentment or inadequacy. By seeking protection from the evil of an envier when they envy, believers recognize the importance of safeguarding themselves from the harmful intentions and actions of envious individuals, as well as protecting themselves from succumbing to feelings of envy towards others. Conclusion Indeed, Surah Al-Falak is a profoundly significant chapter in the Quran, serving as a potent invocation for seeking refuge in Allah from various forms of evil and harm. This surah addresses a wide range of potential threats and dangers, including natural phenomena, supernatural forces, occult practices, and human-induced evil. It provides believers with a comprehensive means of seeking protection from all forms of harm, both physical and spiritual. The surah emphasizes the believer's reliance on Allah's protection and sovereignty over all aspects of creation. By seeking refuge in Allah, believers express their trust in His ability to safeguard them from harm and guide them through life's challenges with wisdom and resilience. Regular recitation and understanding of Surah Al-Falak serve to fortify believers' spiritual defenses and deepen their trust in Allah's protection. By internalizing its meaning and significance, believers strengthen their faith and resilience against the influence of evil forces. Surah Al-Falak empowers believers to actively seek protection from evil and harm, demonstrating Islam's proactive approach to spiritual well-being. By reciting this surah regularly and understanding its significance, believers take proactive steps to safeguard themselves from potential threats and challenges. Ultimately, Surah Al-Falak reflects believers' trust in Allah's guidance and protection. It serves as a reminder of Allah's mercy, compassion, and omnipotence, reassuring believers that He is always there to protect and guide them through life's trials and tribulations.